Good morning everyone. Today we're gonna be knocking out this bad boy. Nice little heat exchanger for uh Bryant uh, old ass unit. We got the heat exchanger from Carrier, and we also got the uh, flame retainer, and we got this bad boy. I forgot what it's called. It's some sort of. It's in this box. Uh, support. So that's what we got for this job today. Now we got power off. Um, <clears throat> let me open it up show you guys why we're gonna change it out bad heat exchanger and I'll try to get as much as much uh, video of the process um, I tend to start working and forget about the camera so some Arctic a buddy of mine gave me this thank you UTG for that appreciate it you don't have to check the creases on these I already I already checked the, um, the joints here squeeze them a little they seem to be pretty solid so so anyways we'll start tearing it up and get at it all right so essentially what I did was just took off this front panel and took off this cover and what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take this off and start messing with the gas and all this shut it off and uh, we'll continue so Come on, baby. one of them babies. Actually, if you just pull this sheet metal out, we have full axis from this side to the entire heat exchange. So that's what we'll do. crazy you gotta have a little light in here the sun's coming uh, straight this way so I can't see anything there you go. 12 inch extension fucking badass extensions have this uh, locking clip whatever you want to call it the bit doesn't come out so you gotta kind of So this baby's free, ready to come out. I got the burners pulled off to one side. There you go. Man, this sun's pretty bad today. Uh, I got the inducer on that side. And uh, this guy's ready to come out. I just need to take this one. Here's the reason. And Pantera, chill out. Uh, here's the reason. Why. Come on, baby, can you focus? Jesus. So. Man, with this sun, I can't see anything. I don't know if this camera's picking up in good quality or not. I'm just going to Anyways, so that's why we replaced the baby. It's right on the seam. So, the second one. And the second two is the same way. 
So, all right, gents. We got this old heat exchanger here. Got the new one. And we got this um, flame retainer. I'm gonna go right in here. That's where this old one was. And then I was having trouble finding the, uh, uh, where is it, this guy right here, the uh, regulator. <laughs> I was trying to look for it and I really couldn't find it until I realized it's almost not even there. It's freaking all chewed up, all tore up, so I had trouble finding it. But anyways, I gotta put this guy right here. Put that one right there. Find the gaskets for them. Find the gasket it goes back here. Hopefully it's in there. If not, we'll just put some high temp silicone or some of this style insulation. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but first, I'm gonna get those on. See if uh, everything's in there. And we'll continue. But there it is, man. Beat the hell up. It doesn't even have the holes for it. channel's named Rookie Refrigeration doesn't mean I'm 19 years old, man. Fucking, fucking 37. Fucking old for a rookie. Alright, this baby's hand pretty good now. She is alive! I don't know if you can see in there with all this sun. Gonna do the initial burn on this heat exchanger. Send all this crap outside. Got that uh, supply duct covered up with that base. I mean, without a panel. So, whew. now I just gotta clean up. This insulation, heat exchanger. There we go. She is done, ladies and gentlemen. She is done. Oh, it smells over here. That smell bad. I don't know. I'll monitor it here for a few minutes and then call it good. But uh, other than that, that is it. Heat exchanger on a Bryant slash carrier model 580 FPV 0730748. Whatever it's. Five and a half, six ton or something like that. Anyways, gents, ladies, thank you for watching. Another born production brought to you by 
37-year-old rookie refrigeration. Have a good one.